Hey guys, so if you've been having problems with your Creality CR10 heating bed not working, um, here is some information that may help you. Um, on my particular printer, what's actually happening is, um, on the control panel, it's saying that the bed is at zero centigrade, so it's not registering the temperature. And of course, when it comes to the point where it's heating bed, it's looking for a temperature so it can heat to that point. So if it does not see that temperature, it will just stay at, you know, the base temperature, but will not actually heat up. It does not even attempt to heat. So uh, basically, um, in this particular situation, um, this here, this connection seems to be, you know, something that wobbles around and, you know, just minor movements over a period of time seems to fracture these solder joints um, on the heated bed and um, on mine um, I have continuity on this pin to this which is the temperature diode and on this pin which should lead to this side I have nothing now when I connect here to this and I run to this where I've scratched it here, which is the little, you know, if you move this clip, you'll see that there's actually a trace that runs along. I don't know if you can see that along here. And what happens is that carries the signal for the temperature and it's not making contact here. So from this point here to here, it's dead. And the problem is right here it's either fractured or it's bad solder so what you can do is you can solder a jump from here to here and if you're really having problems I mean I, I personally wouldn't recommend doing this unless it's really to get you out of a pinch you could solder a small wire from here you know make it tidy and run it to here and the same on the other side you know because either side could effectively be damaged now on the um, on the heating side, um, it seems okay. Um, you don't really want to be, you know, having to solder wires anywhere onto here unless you're using big wire because this, you know, the, I think it's something like 15, 20 amps um, current here. And but like so far for me, it's been fine. But just to give you a tip, you know, if you're having problems with the bed not heating or it's showing a temperature and that the temperature. Uh, uh, the aiming point for the temperature, you know, like say if it's 60 degrees and then the one underneath saying zero or if you're having a situation where you have a temperature and the point where it's trying to get to but it's not actually heating then on your particular uh, print, uh, sorry, uh, print bed it's probable that it's the uh, power pins that run in so you know you can see right here you have this which is the way, you know, power going in and here. So, you know, it could be that these 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 tabs here are effectively fractured or damaged and, and it can happen over time. I noticed on my printer, especially because I'm running in a tight place, the wire seems to jiggle up and down ever so slightly and you know, this does not feel too sturdy. And I just also want to point out, I'm not hugely impressed with the build quality. I don't know whether it's just my particular printer that's you know, a bit shoddy and it's a bit crappy, but I'm actually having quite a few problems with my Creality 10. For everybody I'm hearing saying they're having you know great success with it and I'm, I'm seeing their prints, I have not been able to get anything yet to print that looks good. Um, the, the head was sticking and binding. I tried dielectric grease. I've tried all kinds of things. I ended up realigning. I ended up rebuilding it. And it's still the first few like inches or maybe five or six centimeters. Um, it just seems to be a bit like notchy or, you know, a little bit like it's uncertain if it's going to move. And the coupling from the stepper motor to that shaft seems to bounce around. And I'm fairly sure I'm getting some rippling in my prints from that. And I, I know there's a kit out there to do that. So, you know, that's something I'm going to look at. But for right now, I just want to be able to print something and it actually look okay and unfortunately my experience so far has been not great um, when I first got my printer 2 I noticed there was a rattling sound coming from the control box 
And sure enough, the PCB inside, one of the heat sinks had fallen off and it was just rattling around inside. That had actually fallen inside the power supply. So actually inside the control box, you'll notice that it's actually two boxes. Uh, one is the control side of it. And then the next one is there is a, a big 12 volt, uh, 30 amp power supply inside there. And of course that heat sink had fallen through the fan and inside that. So I had to effectively strip it down and rebuild it just to even get that to turn on because I didn't want to fry anything or have something burn out. So, hmm. I'm hoping to make another video at some point that's positive, but at the moment I'm particularly unimpressed and I'm, I'm regretting my purchase a little bit at the moment. So uh, let's see what happens in the next month. I hope this video helps you guys out. Um, I would have really appreciate it if you would hit that like, or even if you want to you know, keep up with what I'm doing, subscribe, but it's up to you. Um, uh, yeah, so thank you again.